For months, Rochester has been figuring out how food trucks will fit in downtown. And after Monday night's city council meeting, Rochester is closer than ever to grabbing a quick bite to eat. ABC 6 News reporter Ben Henry spoke with those whose businesses would be affected. Right around noon on a nice day, downtown Rochester is a busy place to be. It's beautiful here. Chester's Kitchen and Bar knows this all too well as lunchtime can be their busiest time of the day. That's why they say they're not too worried about mobile food units rolling in downtown. Certainly everyone's going to want to try these food trucks and, um, and some people will do them more frequently than others. But, uh, you know, overall I think, you know, businesses downtown, um, full service restaurants will, will still keep a good core. Absolutely. I'm not here to step on anybody's toes. I want to do business, they want to do business, and there's a lot of places that we can work together on it. Derek Chapman owns Twisted Barrel Wood Fire Pizza, and he was happy about Monday night's decision to allow mobile food units downtown, have a starting fee of $750, and give them a chance to serve their food late from 9 to 1 a.m. Chapman says he shares a similar drive as the brick and mortar restaurants and thinks they'll work well together. You know, they recognize that there's still people going unserved, and, and they want those people to be served, whether it's through them or otherwise. I think this is really just a, a measure of progress in, in our community. This was a, a topic that required some balance between entrepreneurial startup businesses as well as respect for bricks and mortar uh, existing businesses. So, but in the end, I think this is a step forward and uh, something that's very desirable on the part of our community. So, around lunchtime, starting soon, there will likely be more options to grab a bite to eat. In Rochester, Ben Henry, ABC 6 News. Council still needs to read through the ordinance one more time before a final vote. Once it's drafted, it hopes to have food trucks available downtown by early to mid-summer.